Here's how to animate graphics for logos faster than in my previous video. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. First, you need to design the graphic that you're going to use. I'm going to design a subscribe logo that lets viewers know to subscribe to my videos without me having to say so. First, I'm going to add a main title and then delete the text. I'll add a shape. The first tip I'm going to give you is that instead of using multiple layers, you can add multiple elements to the same title, as I'm doing here. Also, you can adjust the size and position so that when you use the logo after it's been animated, you can save time by not having to do this when you add it over top of your main video track. As you can see, I have a shape and text within the same title layer. Now, it will make it easier to animate the logo. First, I'm going to save this out as one individual file. Let's animate the logo. In my previous tutorial, you'll notice that I used multiple layers. Using one layer allows me to quickly animate both the shape and the text at the same time. Because I like the way it looks, I'll animate this logo in the same way as in my previous video and show you how much quicker this can be done because I have one layer instead of two. I'll tap on frame and fit and then adjust the crop so the logo disappears and drop a keyframe. Then I'll advance the clip for a few seconds and drop another keyframe. Let's take a look at that. That's the way I want the animation to look. Because I used one layer instead of two, I was able to do that much quicker. I want the logo to both appear and disappear off the screen when the animation is complete. So I'll save this out as its own individual file. And that relates to the next tip I have. You can use LumaFusion's reverse video function so that you don't have to redo the animation backwards. To do that, I'm going to add the clip I just saved to the timeline. As you can see, this clip runs forward. If I double tap the clip, tap on speed in reverse, and then turn on the reverse switch, it will take a moment. Once this is done, the second clip will play backwards, which means that the subscribe logo will disappear off the screen. Let's take a look at that now. I'll play the video from the beginning. Here the logo appears and disappears exactly like I want it to. Next, I'll need to save this file out as the complete animation. Once I save this video file, I'll be able to bring it back into LumaFusion. Let me show you how to do that now. The first thing I'll do is add my main video track and then add the video file I just saved. I'll bring it down into the timeline and place it above the main timeline at exactly the spot where I want it to start. For the purposes of this video, I'll start it at the beginning. Next, I'll have to add a preset to be able to see the video track underneath as well as the logo. You can do this using blending modes. There's the logo which appears over top of my main video track. The animation is now complete. You can go ahead and add sound to it if you'd like. Check out the video in the YouTube cards on screen right now. Keep watching and I'll definitely see you in the next video.